All right, guys, today we're doing some more Physics 184. Um, this is Chapter um, 27. Uh, this is uh, Mastering Physics homework. Um, this is Question 5 in Chapter 27. And in this question, it's asking us that uh, a metallic wire has a diameter of 4.12 millimeters. So let's go and write that down. The diameter of a wire is 4.12 e to the minus 3 meters. And the current in the wire is 8 amps. So I is going to be equal to 8 amps. And then the drift velocity is equal to 5.4 times 10 to the negative 5 meters per second. And it's asking us what is the density of, of three electrons in the metal. So we're trying to find um, the density of electrons. So one equation that relates all this information is this. This is the equation we'll be using for this problem. E equals is equal to um, N E V D A should have this in your equation sheet. As you guys can see, we have everything besides n. So let's just rearrange this to solve for n. So n is equal to i divided by e v d a. So let's go ahead and get the area first. We're given the diameter so we can find the area quite easily with the diameter. So area is just, you know, it's a circular wire. It's, um, I think, yeah, wire, a metallic wire is the diameter. So the area is just going to be pi r squared. So the diameter is going to be 4.12 e minus 3. We got a Divide it by two because that's we need a radius. I'm gonna square it, and that's gonna go to a. So n is gonna be equal to i, which is eight amps. So let's go ahead and do some units. So let's actually keep our units. So what is an amp? So you gotta know that one amp is one coulomb per second. So eight coulomb per second is divided by e, which is um, the charge of an electron, so that's going to be negative 1.6 um, times 10 to negative 19. So we can just do e to negative 19 coulombs. And then we're going to have the drift velocity, which is just going to be um, 5.4 um, e to negative 5 meters per second and then we're also going to have the area all right that's just going to be meters squared so it's just going to be flat i'm going to type that in the calculator real quick so 4.12 um e to the negative three not two squared we get a 4.24 e to the negative six and that's going to be meters squared as you guys can see, um, if we multiply the top and the bottom by seconds, these seconds will cancel out. Um, the coulombs and this coulomb will cancel out. So all we're left with meters cubed in the denominator. Um, the charge on electron, we're just going to forget about this negative sign here. Um, because the charge density, or not the charge, the density of electrons is going to be positive. Okay, you're not going to have a negative density. Um, so let's just go ahead and type this in the calculator. So that's just going to be, um, let you guys know what I'm going to get here, times 5.4 e to negative 5 times this. So we get, oops, I forget, I mistyped something. Four point one two e to negative three divided by two squared times that by pi times that by this eight divided by that. So we get about six point nine four. E to twenty eight. And it's going to be a one over meter cubed, or it's just going to be meter to a negative thirds, negative three. That's in fact what we have up here, which is correct. 
Um, one mistake I made up here was actually this is not. I forgot to square the radius, guys. So don't make my mistake. That's what I was. I was starting around. The area is actually. If you calculate this is this is correct. I swear you got to square. So it would just be 1.33 e to negative 5 meters squared. And that will get you this. Okay.